Furniture Wizard has very powerful barcode features. Our most popular scanner is the Opticon Mini Scanner. You're looking at a couple of them right here. The first step to configure the Opticon scanner is to test it to see if it's charged. Pick up your scanner, press the large button, make sure it's pointing away from you. You don't want to scan yourself in the eye. And see if it emits a barcode. If not, that's not a good sign. Your scanner may not be properly charged. Connect the scanner to the USB port of your computer. If the scanner has a red light, that means it's not charged or it's completely dead. You need to completely charge the scanner before you attempt to use it. A properly charged scanner will emit a barcode beam when you hit the large button. It also, when you connect it to the USB port, will have a green light. If it's a red light, please charge the scanner fully until it turns green before you attempt to use it. Now we're ready to configure the scanner. On Windows 7 or before, Go and right click on my computer, click manage, click on the device manager, ports, look for the Opticon, go to port settings, it's probably set to 9600, you want to update it to 57600. This will make the scanner communicate faster with your computer. For Windows 8, right click on your start menu, left click on the device manager, and go to your port. You'll notice here the Opticon's not showing. It's not plugged in. Now we're plugging in the scanner, and you'll notice its Opticon is listed there as COM3. You need to remember the COM port. Now double click on it, go to port settings, and if it's set to something below 57,600, update it to that setting. That will make the scanner communicate faster with the computer. Now open up Furniture Wizard and to get to the sc scanner settings, do Control F12. This brings you to Preferences. Say OK here. Click on Barcode Scanner and update the COM port to the correct one, which in this case is COM3. Exit out, and now you're ready to use the scanner.